Hi, my name is Mercedes Smith, and I'm the principal flutist of the Utah Symphony. I grew up in Texas in the suburbs of Dallas, and in the sixth grade, we all had to pick instruments to participate in our public schools band or orchestra program. And what initially drew me to the flute, I'm not really certain, but I think I probably picked it because I thought it was the prettiest instrument or something in my immature 11 year old mind. But I stuck with it and I always loved it and I practiced really hard and, and here I am a professional doing what I love. After learning how to play the flute in the public school band program in Texas, my parents and I moved to rural Arkansas to a tiny town called Mountainburg, Arkansas, which had a population of about 400 people at the time. And we didn't have access to um, a lot of things. I didn't have access to uh, a great youth orchestra, but I was in a youth orchestra, and my mother finally did find me a teacher at the University of Arkansas. But I learned so much just from watching um, like Life from Lincoln Center on PBS and different radio programs and just being so inspired by a lot of documentaries. Those are the things that really pushed me to keep practicing and to keep working hard and to try and get into a conservatory in a big city like New York City, which is ultimately what I did. I think I was pretty set on becoming a professional flutist by the age of 14 for sure, maybe even 13. Certainly by the age 14, I think I was practicing, you know, three or four hours a day uh, because I realized how competitive it was going to be to get into a top school, which is what I had to do to get into a professional orchestra. So I became pretty dedicated early on, which I think really helped me. Well, the flute is a high-pitched instrument, obviously, and we very often play melodies. We very often play melodies in unison with the first violin section. And I think the flute in that role kind of adds a shimmering quality on top of the whole orchestra, kind of a silver lining type sound that helps to just brighten and pull out melodies in the violin section. Uh, the flute does a, a lot of different things in the orchestra. One of the things composers love for us to do is to sing like a bird and play little bird trills and imitate bird sounds. The flute does have a few musical constraints that can be frustrating from time to time. Because we um, blow over the lip plate, we actually lose a lot of air, whereas all the other instruments, all of their air goes directly into the instrument. So. I, if I had my dream instrument or situation, it would be that I would never run out of air and I could always just keep playing long phrases without having to stop and breathe. There are many special effects that the flute can do that composers ask of us. The most common is flutter tonguing, which is just where you roll your tongue into the flute like this. Another basic one is playing a harmonic like this. or a multiphonic, which is where two notes will sound simultaneously through the flute. Other options are things like key clicks, or blowing air over the flute without really getting a tone like this. You can combine them and blow air with key click or you could simply just blow air into the flute completely covering the embouchure hole and you'll get some notes that are actually lower below a low C. So when you first start playing the flute you'll often learn on just the head joint which is this piece and they'll have you blow simply into this. The easiest way is to actually cover the end of it and it's quite easy to get a sound out that way. Then after that, you'll progress to the open side. And then you can cover the end of it and then start overblowing to get higher notes out. Like that. The thing that I love most about music is that it's something I can do by myself and with other people. And I think when you're learning an instrument, you're gonna find that you're gonna spend many hours alone in a practice room, and you're gonna have to be very comfortable with spending time alone and working in a solitary environment. But the beauty of it is, once you've learned a part at home, then you get to play it with other people in the symphony orchestra, which is the other thing I really love. I think I was always drawn to an orchestral career 
over a solo career because I just wanted to be a part of a huge sound, a huge orchestral sound with 100 people on stage to feel that my tiny part was an important part of this larger ensemble. One of the most famous solos for flute was written by Debussy, and it's the prelude to the afternoon of a fawn. <laughs> 